It's not every day that a show keeps getting better and better as each season progresses. Granted, there are many as we are currently in the golden age of television. But even so, a show that excites you the same way as it did in the beginning and all the way through to season three is a win. What's up, guys? It's Denise Salcedo, and today I am reviewing season three of You on Netflix. The second this show first premiered, I was instantly hooked. I love the narration. I love the creepiness and I loved how we were able to get into the mind of Joe Goldberg, essentially this evil, psychopathic person who still found a way to justify everything that he did. That was very interesting to me. Then season two, they leveled up the drama and the violence. But perhaps season three of you may have been the best season of all. Part of me thought that they were going to absolutely ruin this show. I thought it's probably not going to be good. It's going to be dumb. They're going to ruin it. We've seen it happen happened so many times. However, this ended up being my favorite season of you. Now, before I move forward, I am going to put a ton of spoilers in this video. Exit right now if you do not want spoilers because this video is going to have so many of them. Exit and come back afterwards. So, season two ended with us finding out that Love was pregnant and equally psycho as Joe Goldberg. In short, she was the perfect woman for that nut job, Joe Goldberg. But of course, in the final moments, we saw that while Joe had everything, it wasn't gonna stop him. He already had his eyes on his next obsession. Men, they really make me angry. So, season three, we see a battle between husband and wife. Joe falls in love with the neighbor. Love murders her. Joe falls in love with his boss and distances himself from love causing a turmoil in their relationship. Love has a fling with the stepson of the woman she murdered. Love murders an anti-vaxxer and gets her and Joe involved in a four-way with her best friend and her husband. And that isn't even the tip of the iceberg of everything that occurred in season three. So we're gonna go ahead and break things up into topics. Topic number one, who was worse, Joe? or love. Even though love was a psychopathic murderer, somehow through all of that, you sort of had some sympathy for her. Now, I don't condone her actions, but I can see why she did what she did. Damn. Maybe I'm crazy too. Sucks for my fiance. Oh well, let's move on. But for argument's sakes, Love murdered people who were ruining the happiness of her family. Through it all, even the fling she had, she still loved Joe, but still put Joe and their son Henry above it all. So in that sense, you kind of had a little sympathy for her. At least I know I did. But at the same time, she kind of pissed me off because I was like, girl, Joe isn't even worth it. Like, I get it. You guys are perfect for each other. You're soulmates, but he isn't worth it. Well, she kind of wasn't that great either. Oh. Then on the other hand, you had Joe. Joe is an ass. He really just drove me mad in this season. Since season one, we've seen him obsess over a woman, always wanting and wanting. Okay, so he finally finds the perfect woman for him. Another crazy murderer who knows his true self and accepts him. On top of that, she births his child and he still can't devote himself to her. Instead, he keeps going out and getting obsessive over other women. This made me so frustrated. Like, damn, Joe. Oh, like that's just messed up. So to answer the question of topic one of who really was worse in this series, is it love or is it Joe? It's Joe. Joe infuriates me so much in this season. I really, really hate the guy more so than I did in season one and season two. Topic number two, new characters. We had a lot of new characters in this season. I mean, the suburbs are full of drama. So let's talk about a few. My favorite new character was Sherry. I really disliked her at the start, but then by the end, I found myself rooting for her and wanting her to survive. I felt so bad that she was still willing to help Love even after Love locked them up in a cage. I also loved Dante. I was very happy that Henry ended up with him. Thank goodness, because that poor kid had horrible parents. and. Through this entire show, I kept thinking to myself, I swear to God, if Joe or Love murdered Dante, I am going to be so pissed off. There was a part of me that was very worried because we kept seeing a bunch of people get murdered, like practically every single episode. Theo, that kid was dumb, but I was a fan of his. I was so scared that he would get killed. I ended up liking Theo, even though he was a little bit kind of like naive and he there were so many obvious red flags and he was clueless. 
at the end of the day, he was a boy in love. And I thought it was interesting to see the dynamic of love essentially develop feelings for Theo. And she legitimately developed feelings for him. But at the end of the day, it wasn't enough to surpass the devotion and the love that she had for Joe, which is just wild. Again, they were soulmates. Marianne, she was a big part of this new season as Joe's new obsession. There were times when I really liked her and other times when I just wanted to yell at her for being foolish. She kept wanting to be a better person, but she kept lying to herself. However, I was happy that love didn't kill her because we just know Joe is going to find her in the next season and ruin her life like he ruins every woman's life. I'm warning you now, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever see Joe, run for your life. Topic number three, best scenes. Now, there were a lot of good scenes during this entire season. Every episode kept you so, so hooked. The writers of the show did a really good job of making a lot go down in one episode. Each episode brought something different yet equally entertaining and kept you clicking to watch the next episode. A super fast watch. I could not stop clicking next episode, next episode, next episode. But some of the moments that really stick out to me are when love kills Natalie. She was ruthless. I didn't expect this. It kind of came out of nowhere and like in hindsight seeing everything that love did, this did seem very obvious that she was going to be killing more people but even so because it was like the first murder that we see on the show I didn't see it coming when Joe and Love try out swinging with Carrie and Sherry I was on the edge of my seat because I didn't know if they would end up getting murdered and I legitimately was gonna feel bad for them now Sherry and Carrie literally went through hell and back their marriage was literally put to the test when they were inside that cage and they were kind of the polar opposite of Joe and Love. Like, even though you can argue that perhaps Sherry and Carrie weren't necessarily the perfect couple or the ideal couple, at the end of the day, they still kind of found their love and reconnected. Versus Joe and Love, I didn't know where they were gonna go. I didn't know if Joe was necessarily gonna realize at the end of the day that Love is essentially his perfect soulmate, and I didn't know if they were gonna, you know, move on together and become this Bonnie and Clyde. Then there was another part of me that just thought that she's just going to continue murdering every single girl that he falls in love with. But at the end of the day, he's still going to realize that she's the one. So it was one of those things where I was kind of going back and forth and didn't really know what was going to happen with Love and Joe. Another interesting angle and portion of this story was anytime Natalie's husband was close to figuring out the killer. I really thought he would somehow end up figuring it out. And I figured Joe would act like a victim and have Love sent to prison or something. Now, there were plenty more awesome scenes that occurred during during this show, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the finale. If I didn't talk about your favorite scene, go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. But now, the finale. Topic number four, the finale. I hated Joe so much this season, and I was especially pissed at the end. Again, even though Love was a terrible person, I didn't necessarily want him to kill her. At the end of the day, she loved Henry and was a good mother, as good of a mother as a psychopath can be, and she did love Joe. And let's be real, ain't nobody gonna love that man after knowing his truth. I did like the swerve that he knew all along that Love was planning something. I also enjoyed seeing the way he masterminded her suicide and his murder by chopping off his toes, putting them in pie, and setting the house on fire after he emailed Love's suicide notes. I thought that the way that he essentially masterminded Love's suicide and his murder was actually quite fantastic because again, I didn't know if Love was gonna make it through the rest of the season season, there was a part of me that even wondered if the Netflix creators of this show were going to decide to maybe have Love kill Joe and maybe have Love continue as the lead character in the next season. I thought that could have been an interesting angle to go with as well. But at the same time, there is still so much more that you can do with Joe. But then again, I thought that Love's character was so complicated that I wanted to see more of her character. And so that's why I was a little bit bummed out when she did essentially get murdered. Oh yeah, and I totally covered my eyes during that toe scene. I could not watch that. Topic number five, the fourth season. Joe has faked his death. No one knows he's alive. He's assumed a new identity, is going by the name Nick, and is now in Paris, France. And yes, he's looking for Marianne. If you remember, Marianne had mentioned to him that she wanted to live in France with her daughter. So the biggest question we have going into season four is, is Joe going to find Marianne and essentially ruin her life? My guess is he probably is. 
And if so, will he murder her or will she finally be the one to save herself? Other questions. Will Joe ever see Henry again? I hope he leaves him alone, but you never know. And lastly, will anyone ever find out that Joe is the real person behind all of these murders? Or has he just gotten away with each and every single thing that he has done? Who knows, but I cannot wait to find out. If you have any other questions of what you would like to see answered in Season 4, go ahead and drop them in the comments section below. Overall, You Season 3 was a very addictive watch. If you enjoyed the show and this review, go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. Also, what did you think of the season finale? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. I want to know your thoughts. And before you go, do not forget to give this video a like and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. I post several different types of videos on here and I hope you guys all enjoy them. Additionally, if you would like to chat about the season of you, go ahead and tweet me at underscore Denise Salcedo. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye everyone.